welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching so tomorrow is st. Patrick's Day and I'm so upset at myself that I didn't get this video up sooner but I figured better late than never so I quickly put this look together for you guys to kind of show you something that's still festive but at the same time you're not gonna look like a clown this is a perfect look to wear tomorrow because we have a very neutral eye on top and then we have a really pretty pop of color in the lower lash line which is perfect to celebrate tomorrow. I know a lot of you guys are going to be going out, whether it's to an Irish pub or whether you're going to a St. Patrick's Day party. This is going to be the perfect look for that because again, you're going to look very festive, but it's not going to be too overwhelming or too clownish of a look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I wish you all a happy St. Patrick's Day. Please drink responsibly. Do not drink and drive. Take an Uber, take a taxi, walk home, but do not drink and drive. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you guys very soon with another video. Bye. Okay, you guys, so today we are starting off with the face. I figure since the eyes aren't that complicated, I would start with the face just to kind of switch things up a bit. I first took a corrector. This is the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in Medium Beige, and I apply that to my under eye area just so that I can conceal my dark circles. Then I took the NARS All Day Luminous Wayless Foundation. I first dotted it all over the skin, and then I went in with the It Cosmetics airbrush foundation brush and I just buffed that into the skin. I actually worked in sections so I did one cheek first then I moved on to the other side then the forehead and like that. I feel like the foundation works better that way. So I primed my eyelids with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and then I'm going to take Peach Smoothie by Makeup Peak and I'm going to be applying this to the crease. This color is hardly visible but that makes it perfect for it to serve as a transition shade for all, for all the other browns that we're going to be using so just take a very peachy kind of shade so that it can serve as a transition shade I'm going to take the color creme brulee which is another makeup peak shadow and this is a little bit darker than peach smoothie this is about three to four shades darker than my skin tone and I'm taking it with a Sigma E35 which is a tapered blending brush and I'm concentrating this color on that crease. I'm going to be moving it back and forth and then I'm going to move it in circular motion just so that it can blend upwards. But you really don't wanna take this color up too high. You wanna just concentrate it on the crease. Then I went in with Saddle by MAC and this is a darker brown. This is about six shades darker than my skin tone, and it's just a beautiful, warm, kind of caramel color. And I took this with a MAC 212 brush, and I'm just applying this all over the lid. Once you get up to the crease, you want to blend, you want to move the brush back and forth in that crease just to make sure that you blend the outer edges. I really don't like working with matte shadows completely all over the lid just because they tend to set into the fine lines that I have up in the crease. But what I did was I took an E35 by Sigma, which is really similar to the 217 by MAC, and I just worked this back and forth, back and forth to make sure that that color did not set in the little creases of my eye. So I did a pretty thick winged liner. I have an eyeliner tutorial that I will have linked down below. I applied a coat of mascara and then I applied the Lina Lashes um, in the style Bianca. So moving on to the face, I took my Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Neutral and I applied that to my under eye areas and I blended that out with a damp beauty blender. I love this concealer because it doesn't crease. Well, it creases but not as much as any other concealer I have tried before. To bronze and contour the skin a bit, I'm going to take the Soleil Tan de Chanel with my MAC 109 brush, which is the perfect brush to contour and bronze. I'm taking this in the hollows of the cheeks up to the forehead and also down my neck. You guys know I love taking my bronzers down the neck. I feel like it slims down my face a bit and it just looks, it gives you the appearance of kind of a more defined jawline. I took Light Boost by MAC and this is a highlighting pen. They have three different shades, so if you are lighter or darker than me, you can definitely go to MAC and check out the other shades that they have. So I'm applying this down my nose, up in the forehead, as well as down 
to the chin, a little bit under the eyes, and I applied some under that contour just to kind of chisel the contour out even more. Then I went in with the damp beauty blender and blended it out. I know it looks like I applied a lot of it, but to be honest, I did. And the reason for that is because these highlighting pens by MAC are water-based, so they're she they sheer out a lot and they just blend into the skin so nicely. So I love them. I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I took the color Lyric and I applied that to the center of the face as well as under my eyes to set that concealer and that highlighting pen that we applied. And then I went in with the same contour kit, but then I took the middle shade in the bottom, which I have no idea the name of, which sucks because I use this a lot and I should definitely know the name by now. But I'm using this with an angled brush and I'm applying it where I applied that contour and this is really going to set it, set the contour to make sure that it doesn't move throughout the day. And then I went in with the NARS Dual Intensity Blush. This is in the color Fibor, I believe. I'm not really sure how to pronounce the name of it. But I'm just applying this to the apples of the cheeks and I'm taking it backwards with a MAC 129 brush. You guys, these blushes are amazing. I'm going to actually go back to Sephora and pick up some more because they're just bomb.com. So now to highlight, I am taking an oldie, but definitely still a goodie. And this is the NARS Albatross Highlighting Powder. This highlight is so beautiful. It has a gold undertone to it and it's just stunning. So now let's move on to work in the lower lash line. The first color I'm going to take is called Apple Teenies. This has such a cute name. And this is a Makeup Geek shadow. And this is a really pretty shimmery green, which I am so in love with this color. It is so beautiful. I'm applying this in the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take Poolside, which is another beautiful, stunning, amazing I can't say anything good, any more good things about this. Um, this is also by Makeup Geek, and I'm taking this and applying it in the center of the bottom lash line. So now this step is optional. You don't have to do this, but I wanted to add a little bit of sh more shimmer to the lower lash line. So I first took the color Chipper by ColourPop, and I applied that wherever I applied that green. And then I took the color Too Shy, which is a beautiful blue, and I applied that in the center where I applied applied poolside and then I moved it back and forth so that everything blends together. I felt like I, I wanted to add something blue to the look just so that it wouldn't be like that typical green under eyeshadow that everyone here on YouTube does. So anyways, I took a flat definer brush with a little bit more of chipper and I actually matched the under eye area to that wing so I extended the under eye area to match the wing if that makes any sense and then I went in with a Milani jumbo stick this is the green shade and I apply that to my waterline just so that it can give the look something extra you can go in with a white eyeliner or you can go in with a black but I did a green just to give the look something extra give your bottom lashes a coat of mascara and then we're moving on to lips I first lined my lips with Max Strip Down, and then I took Sugar, Melted Sugar, I'm sorry, by Too Faced. This is one of their newest colors, and oh my god, you guys, this color is absolutely stunning. This is my favorite nude lipstick at the moment. It is just so pigmented and so hydrating. I love it. And then I topped it off with a nudish brown gloss from MAC. And once you have done that, you are pretty much done. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!